Yeah. Right, good evening. Could you tell us your name, please? Uh, my name is Luke Ray. Right, and uh, how long have you been connected with the CTC? Uh, I've actually been connected with it for a very long period of time. Um, I was around at the beginning when the, uh, the South Devon section, as it was then, sort of set up and then it became sort of South Dartmoor. And I've been around, but I haven't actually been cycling that much recently. So you count yourself as a veteran member of the CTC? Um, a, a veteran member, not perhaps a, a, as much a cyclist, no. Right, well looking back on your cycling experience with the section, uh, what was your most memorable occasion? <coughs> My most memorable occasion? Um, uh, probably uh, my first tour, in fact my only tour, um, which was uh, an Easter tour to North Devon and I was about 12 and it was really, really very good indeed, yes, it was great, it was about a week, so but that, that's got a lot of memories for me and sort of loads of photos and things, that's quite good. Was there any particular event on, on that tour which uh, sticks in your memory? Um, not, not as such, basically the whole thing, I was born in North Devon so Going back and seeing places which I hadn't seen for 10 years was obviously uh, very nice. Um, and just the scenery, sort of big cliffs and woods and things, it was lovely. Right. So it's been, what are you doing now? Um, I'm at the moment doing a degree at Oxford University and basically spending a lot of taxpayers' money um, on cheap beer. The key question is, are you cycling? Uh, no, I am not at the moment cycling, I have to admit. Um, but I do intend, when I have enough money, to purchase a bike. But at the moment I'm concentrating on other pastimes such as walking and camping. So, in spite of, of being in the city of cycling, you still haven't yet got a cycle. But we look forward to that in the near future. Right, thank you very much, Luke Rake. My pleasure. Good evening. Could you tell us your name, please? My name is Christopher Flatt. And how long have you been associated with the CTC? I think it's about two years now. Uh, have you been on any of the tours? Well, no, but I would want to go on the Easter tour. Mm -hmm. uh, and what attracts you about the Easter tour? Well, my brother says it was good fun, because he went last year. What did he like about it? He liked, um, I don't really know, he just said it was good. And you believe him? Yes. Have you been on any of the youth hostel weekends? Yes, I went to a few. I, I can't quite calculate the names, but I went on a couple. Which was the best one? don't know. But you enjoyed those? Yes. What did you like about them? Not a lot. <laughs> but I still liked it. Are you still riding with the CTC? Yes. I haven't been for quite a while now, but I'll be going again when it restarts. Right, and uh, what did you get for Christmas then? Um, I got some mud guard, mud guards, a front light, and lots of chocolate. Okay, thank you, Chris. Bye. Right, and what's your name, please? Daryl. And uh, how long have you been with the CTC? Don't know. About half a year. And uh, have you been on any tours or youth hostel weekends? Yeah. Plymouth Glen, Instone, Maple, and Belva. Which one of those was the best? Plymouth Glen. And what did you like most about that? Uh, it's going along the, along the cliff, cliff tops on the, near Galant. Um, the hostel. What did you like about the hostel? What is the way it was set out? In the middle of nowhere. Like the top of the hill. Um, what was the weather like on that weekend? Very hot. Well, thinking back over the other rides you've had, uh, what was the best time you've had? What was the most memorable ride? Insta. And why, why was that? Track. And all the mud was going up the back of the pannier. Yours. <laughs> um, are you hoping to go on the Easter tour? Yeah. Um, and finally then, what did you have for Christmas? Uh, 
set of walkie talkies, four, and tracks it. Right. Thank you. Down. Thank you. Good evening. Um, what's your name, please? Bill. Have you been called Bill very long? Yes. How long's that? From minus 80 days before I was born. Right, and what are you called now? Bill. Okay, Bill. Well, uh, I know you've been with the CCC some time. Uh, what tours and weekends have you been on? None. <coughs> and of those ones, uh, which was the best? <laughs> None. And, and what did you particularly like about this tour? Uh, seeing stupid people, like Julian. Doing, doing what? Being a big head, and Martin Hills as well. And <laughs> um, what is it about Martin Hills that you, uh, you particularly like seeing? Stupid. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, well, if you think back on the various rides you've had with the, the section, uh, what was the worst moment you've had? Um, haven't really had a worst moment. <laughs> you haven't had a worst moment, right. And finally then, what did you get for Christmas? Lots of cycling stuff. Like jacket, gloves and bottoms and that. Okay, thank you Bill. That's the right job. And your name please? Jeremy Ford. Right. And how long have you been with the section? Um, about 200 years, I think, since the size. Have you been on any tours with the section? Um, yes, one. The summer tour last year. And where was that tour? Um, Gallant in Cornwall. It was a weekend. Yeah. Um, Did you enjoy that? Yeah, yeah, it was good fun. It's a good cycling road. It's a, we went to two hostels, Gallant and Plymouth. Uh, um, it's a good cycling ride. There's some some tough hills. There's a uh, one from nickname Everest, which is a really steep one down in Cornwall on the coast. It's pretty bad for cycling up. Um, right. um, what what was the weather like on that weekend? Um, it was sunny, rained a bit, but then it's all sort of cleared up when we went home. Yeah. And uh, if you think of your rides with the section, what was the worst moment that you've had? Um, it was about a year and a half ago when I was on my racer, and it was just out of Tom Ness, and there's this really muddy track, and it was it'd been pouring for about three weeks before, and we, it was sort of dried up, and we were sort of cycling down this track, sort of really going far, and then at the bottom of it, Michael said there wasn't, but there's this big puddle, and it's about a foot deep, and everybody else avoided it, but I sort of ploughed into the middle and fell off. I got soaked. It was my worst moment. And how do you feel about that now? Um, oh, it was a good laugh. I dried, I dried off before I get home. So, so, so we're cycling very fast, so I got dry. So that hasn't put you off cycling? <coughs> no, no. I haven't been going lately, because I've been having a lot of school homework. I get home about six, so I don't have time to go off. But are you hoping to go again? Yeah. So I've got an earlier bus now. Okay, and uh, what did you get for Christmas then, Joe? Um, lots of little things. I got a baseball set, baseball bat, ball, and a glove. Um, that's about it, really. Okay. <laughs> right. Thank you, Jeremy. Right. And your name? Martin Rushworth. Right. Martin. How long have you been with the section? Um, just over two years now. <laughs> and have you done much touring with the section? Um, yeah. Um, done. I think it's three holidays now. Two Easter tours and one summer tour to Scotland, North Devon, and. Cool. Tell us about the Scotland tour. Well, we went round the Outer Hebrides and round all round Scotland really. And we then bed breakfast halfway through, which is good. What was what was good about the bed and breakfast? Well, it was just good meals and stuff, and you didn't have to make your bed or anything. You enjoyed the comfort. Yeah. Uh, what what was the best bit of the Scotland tour then? Um, 
on the ferries, a lot of ferries and I'm just cycling around down all the hills and stuff. So, like, what were the distances like? Um, just right, really. I like the very distances, like some days we're easy. And we can do things that we like, but some days much harder. Now the weather in Scotland can be quite bad. What was it like? It was better than I thought it would be, but it it didn't really rain very hard, but it was it was quite good. <laughs> and uh, the weekends that you've been on, which is the best one that you've been on? Probably Plymouth Galant. I like that one a lot. <laughs> I like Plymouth Hostel actually, I've only ever been to it once, but I hope to go, go to it again. What, what did you like about Plymouth Hostel? It's, it's nice and it hasn't got any windows in it, so you can't open them. It's muck a lot of them, obviously. And it's, I, I just like it there. It's good. Do you like uh, Goland Hostel as well? Yeah, I like that one as well. It's, it's, it's a nice area, so I like it there. And uh, what other hostels have you been to? Millions. Um, Maple, Instone. Um, I can't, can't really remember most of them, but quite a few anyway. But you enjoy hostels? Yep. Right, and lastly then, Martin, what did you get for Christmas? Um, well, I went up to a computer show for, for the computer club and got loads of games there with some money that I got for Christmas, before Christmas. And also I got a pair of binoculars as well. A pair of? <laughs> binoculars. Okay, thank you very much. That's right. Right, and your name? Martin Williams. Right, and how long have you been with the section, Martin? Um, about three years, I think. And have you been on many tours? Uh, all except one summer to last year to Norway. So tell us where you've been. Uh, what with on the tours? Um, I went on the Scottish tour, Easter tour to Cornwall, and uh, Easter tour to. I uh, can't remember when the last Easter tour was. <laughs> uh, well, tell us about the Easter tour to Cornwall. Easter tour, anyway. Um, that was. Uh, no, it's the Somerset actually. Uh, that was sort of along the Quantock Hills and um, uh, I think North North um, Devon as well, Barnstable area. Coastal resorts, that's really good. That's my first tour. That was um, 1989, I think. Yeah. What, what did you like about that one? Um, everybody there, I think, the company. Because um, there's a few people I hadn't visited from other parts of the country, it was good. Did you go on the summer sc summer tour to Scotland this year? Yeah, I like that. I like the scenery. It's on the island, so really remote. I like the remoteness of it and the scenery. Yeah. And and of the hostels that you stayed in, then which which one impressed you most? I think the more remote one, um, Raze, because um, I mean nobody liked it because the beds were hot and uh, it was cold and that, but I thought it was rather sort of I don't know, like sort of being with the elements and. That. Um, looking back over your cycling, which has been the the worst point of your cycling? Uh, falling off, I think. Yeah, I fell off uh, when my brake cable snapped, and, uh, but I haven't fallen off luckily since. How, how do you feel about that now? Uh, about falling off? Well, I don't know, it was sort of a useful experience really, wasn't it? To sort of check on your bike and maintenance wise and that. And, uh, um, I bought a better bike after that, which didn't go wrong all the time, and uh, it's less hazardous to my. So it hasn't put you off cycling? No, not really, no. no. I haven't been out so much recently because of work, but uh, work at school. And uh, what do you like most about cycling with the section? Um, I think the scenery around here and meeting people. Yeah. And lastly then, what do you get for Christmas? What I get for Christmas? Nothing big. Alarm clock, um, uh, aftershave, lots of smelly things, uh, lots of small things really. Hey, right, thanks very much, Mark. Right, and your name then, please? There you go. Right, Dale. Uh, how long have you been with the, uh, the local section of the CTC? Um, about three years. And uh, in that time, uh, what tours and weekends have you been on? I've been on Maple, Steps Bridge, um, Insto. That's all the youth hostel tour weekends, but I haven't been on any tours yet. No. And uh, of those weekends, which, which one did you like the best? Maple.
Uh, and why was that? It's just... I don't know. It's just... <laughs> nice down there. Was it the hostel? Um, I prefer the Insta hostel, but the journey and everything down there on the way back is nicer on Maple instead of train swapping. I think. <laughs> and uh, if you think of the day rides, uh, which has been the, the most memorable day ride that you've had with the section? Um, it was Ellen de Coo, I think. That's where I got stuck the other side of the cliff and I couldn't get back except for swimming. <laughs> Uh, so, was that a good memory or a, a worrying one? It's a good one. I know that I can do it again. <laughs> and what did other people think of that? I thought it was rather funny. <laughs> um, it was alright. It was a bit cold and wet. Did you think it was funny? I did after I'd done it. I didn't uh, when I was in the middle of doing it. Swimming. And how do you feel about that now when you look back on it? I want to do it again. <laughs> and uh, what's been the the worst moment you've had uh, cycling with a section? When we were in Insta, I lost my wallet in Barnstable. Yeah. Well, I got it back again. That was the most wor worrying thing. So, so what did you learn from that experience? Not well, to put my wallet on my carrier rack and drive off. <laughs> and uh, what what did you get for Christmas then? Lots of money. Right, fair enough. Thank you, Dale. Simon Hopper. All right, and how long have you been with the section? Um, four, four and a half years. And uh, what tours and weekends have you been on in that time? Um, the last three Easter tours and all sorts of youth hostel weekends. And uh, what was the best moment you've had on, on those tours? Um, probably... Well, I wouldn't say there was a specific one, there's been lots of them. And uh, on several of those tours you were assistant leader? Yeah, last two. What, what are the most interesting things you've had to deal with as assistant leader? Um, well, as assistant leader I have to pick up all the mechanical problems at the back of the bunch. So, things like broken chains, punches, that sort of thing. So I get all those sort of things. Um, I don't know about interesting. Um, maybe having to lead the, the group on when Michael's been otherwise occupied, perhaps. Well, what's the hardest problem you've had to cope with then? Um, almost missing the train on the Cornwall tour, I think. And how did that happen? Um, well, Michael mistimed it slightly. Uh, we, we left the hostel late and we had a lot of problems along the way. Like things like that. And uh, how nearly did you miss the train? Um, by about five, ten minutes. You, you just managed to catch it? Yeah, just managed. And uh, what are you doing at the moment? What, me personally? Um, well, at the moment I'm home from university. I'm at Cardiff. And are you doing much cycling up there? A bit, mostly down to the university and back, but sometimes apart from that. And finally then, um, what did you get for Christmas? Oh, all sorts of bits and bobs. Some useful, some not very useful, that sort of thing. Right, thank you Simon. And your name? Catherine Hopper. And how long have you been with the section? Um, long enough. <laughs> and how long is that? I don't know, I can't remember that far back. And uh, have you been on any weekends, <coughs> weekends or tours with the section? Um, one. And where was that to? <laughs> where was that to? Steps Bridge. And uh, what was that like? Tell us about that that weekend. Um, well, it was for one night, two days. That was it. <laughs> it's a weekend. <laughs> right. What was the cycling like? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it was normal. <laughs> um, what, what do you like most about cycling with the section? <laughs> it was, it's, it's alright, it's good fun. Something to do on a Friday evening. And uh, lastly then, what, what did you get for Christmas? Uh, presents. <laughs> Right, thank you, Catherine Holt. And your name? Martin. And Martin, how long have you been with the section? 
Um, about two years, I think. And you've been on any tours? Uh, two. So Cornwall and one Scotland. So what was the Scotland tour like? It was good, except Michael kept complaining about me complaining about the milk, which was dreadful. Uh, was he right to complain about this? Um, no, no, not at all. No, I'm right. I'm always right. Uh -huh. Yeah. And was there anything else which stuck in your mind about that uh, particular tour? Um, yeah, but I don't think Michael really want me to talk about that. <laughs> uh, what was the weather like? Uh, it was pretty it was sunny most of the time, but it sort of rained a bit every so often. And the hostels? I like the hostels. I liked all of them. I don't think there's any hostels that I like. I understand you particularly like the one at Rasse. I did. Mike, right, I want to get this completely clear. This was Michael. <laughs> right, it wasn't me at all that said any of that. I just didn't like the milk. I loved the hostel. I slept best at that hostel out of any of the tours. And any of the hostels on any of the tours I've ever been on, it's the best hostel I've ever stayed in. Michael, shut up. And uh, <coughs> the, the only problem is the mosquitoes you have to get through to get there. Um, well, there weren't too many. It wasn't me. It was sort of Mark Bernard was used to sort of fend off the mosquitoes. He, he, he sort of got eaten alive while the rest of us ran off. Okay, uh, thinking over your rides with the section, what, what's been the worst thing that's happened to you? Um, the worst thing that's happened to me was uh, appearing on this video last year. Uh, well, we might be able to top that this year. Um, and also, of, of the day rides that we've had, which, uh, which of you prefer? Which has been the best for you? Um, well, there have been a couple of rides where we've gone quite a long way into the malls, which have, I've preferred to any of the others, really. But I can't actually remember the destinations at the moment. But uh, you particularly like rides that go into the malls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, lastly then, um, what did you get for Christmas? Christmas money. Thank you, Martin. Right, and your name? Peter Rushworth. All right, Peter. Uh, what tours have you been on with the section? How many? Yes, and which ones? Three, about. First one was um, North Devon in 89, and then Norway in 89 again, and then Scotland in 90. Right. Tell us about the Norway tour. It was good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Extremely good. Expensive. A long way away. More, more inches than I can count on one finger. What did you like about it? The food. Yeah, that was that was lovely. Very nice. And um, the, the ferries, they were nice. Cycling was a distraction, you know. The main thing was the food and the ferries. Right, and the, the tours over here, which was the best of the ones you've been on here? Scotland one. Because of, well not because of the food, surprisingly enough, that was terrible. But the, um, it was the scenery, because it's a bit like Norway, and I like the scenery in Norway, so it's sort of similar. And uh, thinking of your cycling with the section, what has been the worst moment you've had? Mending, mending seven punches a row on Harris. The out everybody's. One in the tube in, it went down, another one in, it went down, fix one, it goes down, fix the other one, it goes down. Terrible. Was it raining at the time? No. You were lucky. <laughs> and uh, thinking again, what, what has been the best moment in, in your cycling with the section? I don't know. <laughs> it's all superb. Right, and what did you get for Christmas? Money. Right, thank you, Peter. Right, and your name? My name is Luke Haverley. And how long have you been with the section, Luke? Quite a while now, um, three and a half years or so. And uh, what tours and weekends have you been on with? I've been on quite a few weekends and a few Easter tours. Uh, which Easter tours? Last year and the year before. Uh, which of those did you think was the best? Um, neither really. I like the meat we. Um, what did you like about them particularly? I'm not sure really. I like lots of things about sort of cycling in general. I like about tours, off-roading and cycling and, you know, it's just normal things. Uh, were there any problems on, on any of the tours? Um, 
yeah, well, there's always Lotto, but nothing apart from that much. And what's the problem with Lotto? Well, he's sort of a bit of a disaster, you know, causes a lot of problems in general. Do you find any other problems in riding with the section? Not on the whole, no. Sometimes I have minor gripes, but nothing sort of worth of mention. I was going to say, tell us about your gripes. <laughs> no, no particular gripes, you know. Okay in general, you know. Uh, and what's been the, the worst moment in your cycling career? Um, I wasn't prepared for that. I don't, I don't really know. I've had quite a few bad moments, you know, when I break my bike and things. Yeah. I haven't really got a worse moment that I've particularly selected. Ask me that next year. I'll think about it. Okay. And uh, what did you get for Christmas? Uh, I got lots of money, actually. No, nothing material, lots of money. Which I'm going to spend on things for my bike, mainly. Right, thank you, Luke. Yeah.